Moose, the largest member of the deer family, are highly prized as a Montana big game animal and always a highlight for wildlife watchers. If the number of animals increases above an optimum level, more licenses are made available. Conversely, if the number of moose declines, adjustments are made in the number of tags offered. Now, in some parts of Montana, numbers have declined, hunting licenses cut back, and moose counts continue to drop. So there's a lot of concern about predation impacts on moose. We've got wolves now, uh, of course, in places with uh, exponential growth in wolf numbers. Everywhere wolves and moose have been studied, wolves eat moose. And in a lot of parts of Montana, we've got more grizzly bears uh, than we've had in recent history. Bear predation can have a big impact on moose recruitment, especially those, those newborn moose. Uh, bears tend to key in on that. And, and I'll throw into that mix harvest as well. There are a few places where we've uh, harvested quite a few adult female moose, and those are the the sort of the drivers of population training. Uh, it used to be quite a bit of logging in western Montana. It created a lot of moose habitat. A lot of that has grown up. Uh, disease and parasites have become an issue for moose. We sent out letters to moose hunters during the hunting season asking them to cooperate with us by submitting a blood sample from their moose and potentially the head from their moose. With the blood sample, we're running a panel of serology to look for different viruses and bacteria that could affect moose. Uh, with the head, we're looking for several different parasites. Biologists have a pretty good sense of what issues are impacting moose. What they don't know yet is how much each of these factors is influencing individual populations. This is Mike Gurnett, out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.